know I was here? I heard you. I thought you were asleep. On an afternoon like this? No. Do you need anything? No. I'm going to the store. What's for dinner? What do you want? Not spaghetti. All right. Disgusting stuff. That's what I was going to make. I had a feeling. Good thing I spoke up. You make it too much. What do you want? What do you have a taste for? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't care. I thought pasta would be easy. Pasta? Oh, God, don't even say the word pasta. It sounds so hopeless, like surrender. <laughs> pasta would be easy. Yes. Yes, it would. Pasta doesn't mean anything. It's just a euphemism people invented when they got sick of eating spaghetti. Dad. <laughs> what do you want to eat? I don't know. Well, I don't know what to get. I'll shop. No. I'll do it. No, Dad, rest. I wanted to take a walk anyway. Are you sure? Yes. What about a walk to the lake, you and me? All right. I would love to go to the lake. Then on the way home, we'll stop at the store, see what jumps out at us. It's warm. It would be nice if you're up for it. You're damn right I'm up for it. We'll work up an appetite. Give me 10 seconds. Let me put this stuff away, and we're out the door. I'm going to school. When? I'm going to start at Northwestern at the end of the month. Northwestern? They've been great about my credits. They're bringing me in as a sophomore. I wasn't sure when to talk to you about it. Northwestern? Yes. What's wrong with Chicago? You still teach there? I'm sorry. It's too weird. Taking classes in your department. <coughs> It's a long drive. Not that long, half an hour. Still, twice a day. Dad, I live there. You'd actually want to live in Evanston? Ooh. Yeah. Yes. I'll still be close. I can come home whenever you want. You've been well, really well. For almost seven months. I don't think you need me here every minute of the day. This is all a done deal. You're in. Yes. You're sure. Yes. Who pays for it? They're giving me a free ride, Dad. They've been great. On tuition, sure. What about food, books, clothes, gas, meals out? Do you plan to have a social life? I don't know. You gotta pay your own way on dates. At least the early dates say the first three. Otherwise, they expect something. <laughs> Dad, the money will be fine. Claire's going to help out. When did you talk to Claire? I, I don't know. A couple weeks ago? You talked to her before you talked to me? There were a lot of details to work out. She was great. She offered to take care of all the expenses. This is a big step, a different city. It's not even a long-distance phone call. It's a huge place. They're serious up there. I mean serious. Yeah, the football's a disaster, but the math guys don't get around. <laughs> you haven't been in school. You're sure you're ready. You can get buried up there. I'll be all right. It's a long, a long time for you to get back into it. I know. Look at me like that. Thank you. I know. Look, I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know if I can handle the work. I don't know if I can handle any of it. Well, for Christ's sake, Catherine, you should have talked to me. Dad, listen. If you have... If for any reason it ever turned out you needed me here... I time, won't. I can, That's I not... Always, I can always take a semester off. Or, or I can be... No. Dad, Stop it. I just... Say something before. Dad, come on. There were a lot of details to work out. It took a while to set things up. And until recently, until very recently, you weren't. Good. You just said yourself I've been fine. Yes, but I didn't know. I hoped. But I didn't know. No one knew if this would last. I told myself to wait until I was sure about you, that you were feeling okay again. Consistently okay. 
So I'm to take this conversation as a vote of confidence. I'm honored. Take it however you want. I believed you'd get better. Well, thank you very much. Don't thank me. I had to. I was living with you. All right, Catherine, that's enough. Let's stay on the subject. This is the subject. There were library books upstairs stacked up to the ceiling. Do you remember that? You were trying to decode messages. The fucking books are gone. I took them back myself. And why do you bring that garbage up? Mr. Dobbs. I... It's not a bad time. Yes, it is, actually. Hmm? Couldn't have picked worse. Oh, what? Well, you, you interrupted an argument. Yeah, well, I, I'm sorry. I can come back. It's all right. We needed a break. Uh, are you sure? Yes. The argument was about dinner. We don't know what to eat. <laughs> What's your suggestion? Uh, um... You know, there's a great possibility it's not No! That is a brilliant idea. Oh, dear. Idea. Jesus, God, What's it no. called? Give me the address. No, sorry, wrong answer, but thank you for trying. Um, I can come back. <laughs> Stay. Wait. Where are you going? Inside. What about dinner? What about him? What are you doing? I mean, sucks. I'm really sorry. Hey, don't be silly. I can just come to your office. <coughs> no. <coughs> Stop. Stay. Sit down. I'm glad you're here. Don't let the dinner thing go. <coughs> You'll bounce back. This should be easier. Let's back off the problem. Let it breathe. Come at it again when it's not looking. Fine. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm rude. Hal, this is my daughter, Catherine. Don't go. Have a drink with us. <coughs> Catherine Harold Dobbs. Hi. Hi. How's a math student? He's doing his PhD. Very promising stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, his work coincided with my return to the department, and he got stuck with me. No, no I've, I've, I've been very lucky. <coughs> How long have you been at U of C? Well, I've been working on my thesis for... <laughs> <laughs> How's in our infinite program as he approaches completion of his dissertation? Time approaches infinity. <laughs> <laughs> would you like a drink, Al? Yes, yeah, I would. And with all due respect. Really? versions of yourself in no time. <laughs> Thanks. Catherine's in the math department at Northwestern now. Oh, who are you working with? Uh, I'm just starting this fall, uh, undergrad. Is she starting in uh, three weeks? A little more. They have some good people at Northwestern. O'Donoghue, Kaminsky. Yes. Work your ass off. I know. You'll have to run pretty hard to catch up. I think I can do it. Of course you can. You must be excited. I am. First year of school can be great. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure, all the new places, new people, getting out of the house. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> absolutely, getting the hell out of here. Thank God, it's about time. I'll be glad to see the back of her. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Maybe I would like to have the place to myself for a while. Did that ever occur to you? It's awful the way children sentimentalize their parents. We could use some quiet around here. Oh, don't worry. I'll come back. I'll be here every Sunday cooking a big batch of pasta to last you through the week. <laughs> and I'll drive up, strut around Evanston, embarrass you in front of your classmates. Good, so we'll be in touch. Sure. And if you ever get stuck with a problem, Give me a call. Okay, same to you. Oh, fine. Make sure you get me your number. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to getting some work done. Oh, what are you working on? Nothing. Nothing at the moment. Which I'm glad of, really. This is a time of year you don't want to be tied down to anything. You want to be outside. I love Chicago in <coughs> September. Perfect sky, sailboats on the water, <laughs> cubs losing, <laughs> warm, the sun still hot, with the occasional blast of Arctic wind to keep you on your toes, remind you of winter. Students coming back, bookstores full, everybody busy. I was in a bookstore yesterday, completely full, students buying books, browsing. somebody's old record albums, not looking for anything, just looking, but they help. Touching the old book jackets, seeing what somebody threw out, seeing what the underline Maybe, maybe you find something great, like, like, like an old thriller with a painted cover from the 40s. Settle down and get to work. I'm not doing much of anything right now. It does get harder. It's a stereotype. Fortunately for you and for all of us. Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe I will. Maybe you'll pick up where I left off. Don't hold your breath. Don't underestimate yourself, Ken. So I can have a drink, Kathy, Al. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I should get going. You sure? Yes. I'll give you a call when I've looked at this. Don't think about it till then. Enjoy yourself. See some movies. Okay. You can come out of office in a, in a week. Call it the, the 11th? Yes, we'll... Are you? 
used to have a pretty good memory for numbers. Happy birthday. Thank you. I am so sorry. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, don't be stupid. I didn't get you anything. Don't worry about it. I'm taking you out. You don't have to. We are going out. I didn't want to shop and cook. Let's go to dinner. Let's get the hell out of this neighborhood. What do you want to eat? Let's go to the north side or, or Chinatown or Greek town. I don't know what's good anymore. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, goddammit, Catherine, it's your birthday. Steak. Steak, yes. No. First beer. Really cold beer. Really cheap beer. Done. <laughs> that Chicago beer that's watery with no flavor. Yeah. You can just drink gallons of it. <laughs> they actually just pumped the water out of Lake Michigan and bottled it. It's so horrible. <laughs> I have a taste for it myself. Then the steak, grilled really black. And potatoes. And cream spinach. I remember. If it's still there, I think it'll do the trick. And dessert? That goes without saying. It's your birthday. Hooray! <laughs> and there's the solution to our dinner problem. Thank you for reminding me, Harold Dobbs. We're being rude. Do you want to come? Uh, no, no, I shouldn't. Well, why not? Please come. September 4th. Good day. <laughs> you wrote this? Yes. When? I started after I quit school. I finished a few months before Dad died. school, I had nothing to do. I was depressed. Really depressed. But at a certain point, I decided, fuck it. I don't need them. It's just math. I can do it on my own. So I kept working here. I worked at night after Dad had gone to sleep. It was hard, but I did it. I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm just finding this very hard to believe. Claire, I wrote the proof. Sorry. Claire! This is Dad's handwriting. It's not! It looks exactly like it! It's my writing! I'm sorry. Ask Hal. He 
He's been looking at Dad's writing for weeks. I don't know. Oh, come on. What does it look like? Well, I mean, it, it looks... I don't know what Catherine's handwriting looks like. It looks like that. You know what? It's early, we're all tired, and not in the right state to make decisions about emotional things. We should all just take a breath. You don't believe me. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Never mind. I don't know why I expected you to believe me about anything. Well, could you tell us the proof? That would prove that it's yours. You wouldn't understand it. Tell it to how. We can talk through it together. Might take a while. I can't use the book. For God's sake, it's 40 pages long. I didn't memorize it. It's not a muffin recipe. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. It's my book, my writing, my key, my drawer, my proof. You know there's nothing even remotely like this. Look, Catherine, it's... We'll go through the proof together. We'll sit down. If Claire will please let me have my book back. All right. Talk him through it. But that might take days and still wouldn't prove anything. Why not? Your father could have written it and explained it to you later. I, I'm not saying he did. I'm just saying there's no proof that you wrote this. Of course there isn't. But come on, he didn't do this. He couldn't have. <coughs> he didn't do any mathematics at all for years. Even in the good year, he couldn't work. You know that. You're supposed to be a scientist. You're right. Okay, but well, here's my suggestion, then. I know three or four guys down in the department really sharp, disinterested people. They knew your father. They knew his work. Let me take this to them. What? I'll tell them we found something. Something potentially major. We're not sure about the authorship. I'll sit down with them. We'll go through this thing carefully and, and try to figure out exactly what we've got here. It'd only take a couple of days, probably, and then we'd have a lot more information. I think that's an excellent suggestion. You can't! Catherine! No, you can't take it! You can't wait to show them your brilliant discovery. I am trying to determine what this is. I'm telling you what it is. But you don't know. I wrote it! It's your father's handwriting! At least it looks an awful lot like the writing in the other books. Maybe your writing looks exactly like his. I don't know. It does look like his. I didn't show this to anyone else. I could have. I wanted you to be the first to see it. I didn't know I wanted that until last night. It's me! I trusted you. I know. Was I wrong? No. I should have known she wouldn't believe me. But why don't you? This is one of his notebooks. And it's the exact same kind he used. I told you. I just used one of his blank books. There were extras. There weren't any extra books in the study. There were when I started writing the proof. I bought them for him. He must have used the rest up later. The writing? You want to test the handwriting? No. He could have dictated it to you, for Christ's sake still doesn't make sense. Why not? Because I'm a mathematician. Yes? So I know how hard it would be to come up 
with something like this. It's impossible. You, you have to be your dad, basically. Your dad at the peak of his powers. I'm a mathematician, too. Not like your dad. Oh, he's the only one who could have done this. Yeah, the only one I know. Are you sure? Your father was the most... Just because you and the rest of the geeks worship him doesn't mean he wrote this through, pal. He was the best. My generation hasn't produced anything like him. He revolutionized the field twice before he was 22. I'm sorry, Catherine. But you took some classes at Northwestern for a few months. My education wasn't at Northwestern. It was living in this house for 25 years. Even so, it doesn't matter. This is too advanced. I don't even understand most of it. You think it's too advanced. Yes. It's too advanced for you. You could not have done it this work. But what if I did? Well, what if? It would be a real disaster for you, wouldn't it? And for the other geeks who barely finished their PhDs, <laughs> who are marking time, doing lame research, bragging about the conferences they go to, playing in an awful band, and whining that they're intellectually passionate at 28 because they are! She said anything? About you? No. <laughs> Yesterday, I know I didn't do what she wanted. Neither of us did. I didn't know what to say. I feel awful. Why did you sleep with her? I'm sorry, that's none of your business. Bullshit. I'm the one who has to take care of her, and it's a little bit harder with you jerking her around. I wasn't jerking her around. It, it, it just happened. Your timing wasn't great. It wasn't my timing. It was both of our timing. Why did you do it? You know what she's like. She's fragile. You took advantage of her. No, it was what we both wanted. I didn't mean to hurt her. You did. I would like to talk to Catherine, please. You can't. Are you taking her away? Yes. To New York? Yes. I'm just going to drag her to New York? If I have to. Don't you think she should have some say in whether or not she goes? If she's not going to speak, what choice do I have? Let me try. Let me talk to her. Give up, Hal. This has nothing to do with you. I know her. She's tougher than you think, Claire. What? She can handle herself. She can handle talking to me. Maybe it would help. Maybe she would like it. Maybe she'd like it? Are you out of your mind? You're the reason she's up there right now. You don't know her. You don't know what she needs. She's my sister. Jesus. You fucking... 
fucking mathematicians. You don't think. You don't know what you're doing. You stagger around creating these catastrophes and it's people like me who have to fly in and clean them up. She needs to get out of Chicago, out of this house. I'll give you my number in New York. You can call her when she's settled there. That's it. That's the deal. Okay. I don't mean to be rude, but I have a lot to do. Wait, there's one more thing. You're not gonna like it. Sure, take the notebook. What? Hold on a second. I'll get it for you. very sweet that you want to see Catherine, but you want to see the notebook, too. No, no, it's my responsibility as a professional. I can't turn oh, my back. relax. I don't care. <coughs> what do I do with it anyway? Are you sure? Yes. You trust me with this? Yes, of course. You just said I have no idea what I'm doing. I think you're a bit of an idiot, but you're not dishonest. Someone has to find out what's in there. I can't do it. It should be done in Chicago. Father would like that. When you find out what we've got, let my family know what we should do. Thank you. Don't thank me. It's by far the most convenient option available. I put my card in there. You can call me whenever you want. Okay. Hal? Yeah? Could you tell me about it? Take some time. How much math have you got? I'm a currency analyst. It helps to be quick with numbers. I am. I probably inherited about one one thousandth of my father's ability. It's enough. Catherine got more. I'm just not sure how much. Working. It's December. It's 30 degrees. I know. Don't you need a coat? Don't you think I can make that assessment for myself? Aren't you cold? Of course I am. I'm freezing my ass off. So what are you doing out here? Thinking. Writing. You're going to freeze. It's too hot in the house. The, the radiators dry out the air. Also, the clanking. I can't concentrate. If the house weren't so old, we'd have central air heating. But we don't, so I have to come out here to get any work done. I'll turn off the radiators. They won't make any noise. Come inside. It isn't safe. I'm okay. I've been calling. Didn't you hear the phone? It's a distraction. I didn't know what was going on. I had to drive all the way down here. I can see that. Answer the phone. Well, I'm sorry, Catherine, but it's a question of priorities, and work takes priority. You know that. Uh, working? Uh, God damn it! I am working. I say I. The machinery. The machinery is working. Catherine, it's on full blast. All the cylinders are firing. I'm on fire. That's why I came out here to cool off. <laughs> I haven't felt like this in years. You're kidding. No! I don't believe it. I don't believe it either, but it's true. It started about a week ago. I woke up, came downstairs, made a cup of coffee, and before I could pour it in the milk, it was... It was like somebody turned a light on in my head. Really? <laughs> Not the light. The whole power grid. I lit up, and it's like no time has passed since I was 21. You're kidding. No. <laughs> I'm back. I'm, I'm back in touch with the, the font, the... Source, what, whatever the source of my creativity. 
creativity was all those years ago. I'm, I'm in contact with it. I'm sitting on it. It's a geyser, and I'm shooting right up into the sky with it. My God. <laughs> no, no. I'm not talking about divine inspiration. It's not funneling down into my head and onto the page. It'll take work to shape these things. I'm not saying it won't be a tremendous amount of work. It will be a tremendous amount of work. It's not going to be easy. But the raw material is there. It's, it's like I've been driving in traffic. And now the lanes are opening up before me, and I can accelerate. I see whole landscapes, place for the work to go, new techniques, revolutionary possibilities. <laughs> I'm going to get the whole profession talking to each other. I'm going to... I'm sorry. I'm rude. How's school? Oh. <laughs> Fine. You working hard? Sure. You have faculty treating you all right? Yes, Dad. Maybe friends? Dad, hold on. No details necessary. If you don't want to provide them, I'm just interested. School's great. I want to talk about what you're doing. Oh, great. Let's talk. This work? Yes. Is it here? Part of it, yes. Can I see it? It's all at a very early stage. I don't mind. Nothing's actually complete, to be honest. It's all in progress. I think we're talking years. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. Just let me see anything. You really want to? Yes. <laughs> you're, you're genuinely interested. Dad, of course. <laughs> you know how happy that makes me? Yes. <laughs> there, there's enough work here to keep me working the rest of my life. Not just me. I was starting to imagine I was finished, Catherine. Really finished. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I was great like going to my office. Have a life, but, but secretly, secretly, I was terrified I'd never work again. Did you know that? I wondered. <laughs> I was absolutely fucking terrified. <laughs> then, then I remembered something. And a part of the terror went away. creative years were just beginning. You'd get your degree, do your own work, you were just getting started. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Claire's done well for herself. If you hadn't gone to the math, that would have been all right. Claire's done well for herself. I'm satisfied with her. I'm proud of you. I don't mean to embarrass you. It's part of the reason we have children. We hope they'll survive us, accomplish what we can't. But now, <laughs> now that I'm back in the game, I admit I've got another idea, a better one. What? I know you've got your own work. I don't want you to neglect that. You can't neglect it. But I could probably use some help. Work with me. If you want to. If you can work it out with your class schedule and everything else, I can, I can help you with that. I can make some calls, talk to your teachers. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting ahead of myself. Well, Jesus, look, enough bullshit. You asked to see something, okay? Let's start with this. I've worked something out. General outline for a proof. Major result important. It's, it's not finished, but you can see where it's going. Let's see. Here. It's very rough. Gaps might make it hard to follow. We can talk it through. You're cold. Let's go in. 
Maybe, maybe we can work on this together. This might be a great place to start. What about it? What do you think? Let's talk it through. Not now. I'm cold, too. It's really freezing out here. Let's go inside. I'm telling you, it's stifling in there, goddamn it. The radiators. Look, read out the first couple of lines. That's how we start. You read and we go line by line, out loud, through the argument, see if there's a better way, a shorter way. No. Come on. I I've been waiting years for this. This is something I want to do. Come on, let's do some work together. We can't do it out here. It's freezing cold. I'm taking you in. Not until we talk about the proof. No. God damn it, Catherine. Open the goddamn book and read me the lies. November through February. There are four months of cold and four of heat, uh, leaving four months of indeterminate temperature. In February, it snows. In March, the lake is a lake of ice. In September, the students come back and the bookstores are full. Let X equal the month of full bookstores. The number of books approaches infinity as the number of months of cold approaches four. I will never be as cold now as I will in the future. The future of cold is infinite. The future of heat is the future of cold. Bookstores are infinite, and so are never full, except in September. coffee. It's all right, isn't it? We have a place. 
place where we buy all our own coffee. They roast it themselves. They have an old roaster in the basement. You can smell it on the street. Some mornings you can smell it in our apartment, four stories up. It's wonderful. Manhattan's best. Some magazine wrote it up. Who knows? But it is very good. Sounds good. You'll like it. Good. Chili, do you want to go in? I'm okay. I thought it'd be nice to have a quick cup of coffee out here. No, it is. Plus the kitchen's all put away, but if you're cold. Not really. Do you want your jacket? Yeah, okay. <coughs> Thanks. It's that time of year. Yeah, you can feel it coming. Honey, there's no hurry. Do you want to be alone, hang out for a bit? No, it We're is not for 20 minutes or so. I know. Thanks, Claire. You're all packed? Yes. If you missed anything, don't worry. The movers will send it next month. I know this is hard. It's fine. This is the right decision. I know. I want to make this transition as smooth as possible. So does Mitch. Good. Actual departure is the hardest part. Once we get there, we can relax, enjoy ourselves. I know. You'll love New York. I can't wait. You'll love it. It's the most exciting city. I know. It's not like Chicago. It's really alive. I've read about that. I think you'll really feel at home there. You know what I'm looking forward to? What? Seeing Broadway musicals. <laughs> Mitch can get tickets to whatever you like. And Rockefeller Center in winter. All the skaters. Well, you and I could definitely... Also, the many fine museums. <laughs> I know this is hard for you. Listening to you say how hard it is for me is what's hard for me. Once you get there, you'll see all the possibilities that are available. Restraints, lithium, electroshock. Schools. In the New York area alone, there's Columbia, NYU, bright college days, football games, road trips, necking on the quad. Well, if that's not what you'd like, you could get a job. Mitch has terrific contacts all over town. Does he know anyone in the fun sex industry? <laughs> I want to make this transition as easy as I can. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be so fucking easy, you won't believe it. Thank you. I'm going to sit quietly on the plane to New York and live quietly in a cute apartment and answer Dr. Von Heimlich's questions very politely. <laughs> you can see any doctor you like, or no doctor at all. I would like to see a doctor called Dr. Von Heimlich. <laughs> Please find one. <laughs> and I would like him to wear a monocle. <laughs> and I would like him to have a very soft, very well upholstered couch so that I'll be perfectly comfortable while I'm blaming everything on you. Don't come. No, I'm coming. Stay here. See how you do. I could. You couldn't take care of yourself for five days. Bullshit. You slept all week. I couldn't go home. I had to cancel my flight. I missed a week of work. I was this close to taking you to the hospital. I couldn't believe it when you decided to drag yourself up. I was tired. Give me a break, Catherine. You weren't speaking. I didn't want to talk to you. Stay here if you hate me so much. And do what? You're the genius. Figure it out. I wasn't sh sure. This fucking thing. 
Okay, checks out. I, I've been over it twice with two different sets of guys, old geeks and junk sheiks. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know where the mathematical techniques came from. Some of the moves are really, really hard to follow. But we can't find anything wrong with them. I mean, there might be something, but we can't find it. left. It works. I thought you'd want to know. I already knew. I had to swear these guys to secrecy. I, they were jumping out of their skins. See, one email, and it's all over. Uh, I think we're safe. I threatened them. They're physical cowards. <laughs> <coughs> I had to see you. I'm leaving. I know. Just wait for a minute, please. What do you want? You have the book. She told me you came by for it and she gave it to you. You can do whatever you want with it. Publish it. Catherine. Get Claire's permission and publish it. She doesn't care. She doesn't know anything about it anyway. I don't want Claire's permission. You want mine? Publish. Go for it. Have a press conference. Tell the world what my father <laughs> discovered. I don't want to. Okay, fuck my father. Pass it off as your own work. Who cares? Write your own ticket to any math department in the country. I don't think your father wrote it. thought so last week. That was last week. I spent this week reading the proof. I, I think I understand it, more or less. It uses a lot of newer mathematical techniques. Things that were developed in the last decade. <coughs> elliptic curves, modular forms. I think I learned more mathematics this week than I did in four years of grad school. So? So, <coughs> proof is very hip. Get some sleep, Hal. <laughs> what was your father doing for the last 10 years? He wasn't well, was he? Are you done? I don't think he would have been able to master those new techniques. But he was a genius. Well, he was nuts. So he read about them later. Maybe. The books he would have needed are upstairs. My father dated everything. Even his most incoherent entries are dated. There are no dates in this. The writing? It looks like your dad's. But parents and children sometimes have similar handwriting, especially when they've spent a lot of time together. Interesting theory. I like it. I like it too. It's what I told you last week. <coughs> I know. You blew it. No, I... It's too bad. The rest of it was really good. All of it. I loved your dad. I always liked you. I'd like to spend every minute with you. It's killer stuff. You got laid, and you got the notebook. You're a genius. You're giving me way too much credit. <laughs> I don't expect you to be happy with me. I just want, I don't know, I, I wanted to discuss some of this with you. Purely professional, I, I don't expect anything else. Forget it. If you have questions, Working on this must have been amazing. I, I'd love to hear you just talk about some of it. No. You'll have to deal with it eventually, you know. You, you can't ignore it. You'll have to talk to someone. You'll have to publish it. Here, take it, at least. Then I'll I go. I don't want it! Come on, Catherine. I'm trying to correct things. You can't! Do you hear me? You think you've figured something out. You run over here, so please, with yourself, 
because you changed your mind. Now you're certain. You're so sloppy. You don't know anything. The book, the math, the dates, the writing, all that stuff you decided with your buddies. It's just evidence. It doesn't finish the job. It doesn't prove anything. So what would? Nothing. You should have trusted me. I know. So Claire sold the house? Yes. Stay in Chicago. You're an adult. She wants me in New York. She wants to look after me. Do you need looking after? She thinks I do. You looked after your dad for five years. So maybe it's my turn. A kick and scream. I don't know. Being taken care of. It doesn't sound so bad. I'm tired. And the house is a wreck. Let's face it, it was my dad's house. It's a nice house. It's old. I guess. It's drafty as hell. The winters are rough. Yeah, that, that's just Chicago. Either it's, it's freezing inside or the steam's on full blast and you're stifling. I don't mind cold weather. Keeps you alert. <laughs> Wait a few years. Well, uh, well, I've lived here all my life. Yeah. Sure. Just like you. Still, I don't think I should spend another winter here. There is nothing wrong with you. I think I'm like my dad. I think you are too. I'm afraid I'm like my dad. You're not him. Maybe I will be. Maybe. Maybe you'll be better. It didn't feel amazing. Yeah. It was just connecting the dots. Some nights I'd connect three or four. Other nights they'd be really far apart. I'd have no idea how to get to the next one. If there was a next one. He really never knew? No. I worked after midnight. He was usually in bed. Every night? No. If I got stuck, I'd watch TV. <laughs> Some nights, if he couldn't sleep, he'd come downstairs and sit with me. We'd talk. Not about math. He couldn't. <laughs> about the movie we were watching, I'd explain the stories. Made the air dry. Or we planned breakfast. Talk about what we were going to eat together in the morning. <sighs> Those nights were usually pretty good.
places where it's stitched together. Like it's lumpy. Dad's stuff was way more elegant. When he was young. Talk me through it. Whatever's bothering you, maybe you'll improve it. I don't know. Pick anything. Just give it a shot. Maybe you'll discover something. Elegant. 